today we are doing a special structure deck duel challenge. It's a mystery. We have our guests, Larry and Alex. This bag is filled with structure decks. In fact, it's the last eight structure decks. Two, two of them oh. can be considered good. The rest of them are just eh. I've played all of one of them. All right. Uh, I'm hoping for the Albaz Strike deck because it's so strong. Yeah. What do you got? Freezing chains. You have a good boss monsters. I don't know about the I rest get of the Trishula. Thing. Nice. Yeah. It's your turn. Right, really shake. Hold on. Let me see this. You ain't shake. You gotta shake it up. Don't damage the product. All right, I got one. All right, and show us. Show us your deck, Cyber Strike. I don't know how to play this. All right. Yeah. Freezing chains versus Cyber Strike. Well. I believe I know how this deck is supposed to work. I want to get monsters on the board for easy synchro summons. But it looks like with this kind of deck, I get one chance at that because there's not multiples of these guys. So if I screw it up, I think I lose. Sorry, I'm trying to read how to use some of these because I'm not a Cyber Dragon player. Cyber Dark Realm, I don't know a lot of these cards. I don't know what they do and they have so much text. Of course, a good old Cyber Inn, Cyber Dark Inn, Cybernetic. Horizon, hmm, uh, Hertz, ooh, Imperm. The deck itself, I'm sure, is good. I just got to figure out how to play them. So if you see some misplays, I don't know what I'm doing. Yep, same thing. I need to try to remember how this is all going to work. It's been a while. While we both figure out how to pilot these things, um, here's a word from our sponsor. Bridge Wallets. As you guys know, I've had this thing for ages and I absolutely love it. It's slim, it's sleek, it's durable, and honestly my favorite part is the design. And speaking of designs, Ridge has loads of them. Like literally loads of them. But there is a special new wallet that they have. It's this awesome leather wallet. Yeah, that's right, actual leather. This looks amazing, like that's the front. And check out the back. Like they hold up to 12 cards. They are RFID protected so people can't just scan your cards from outside of your wallet without you knowing and they even have a cash strap for holding cash if you still do that, you know? They've also got these really cool key cases. So this is something that I've been using and I didn't think that I would like it nearly as much as I have, but it actually holds all of my keys and like they don't jangle around at all. So I can literally like just keep them in my pocket. I don't have to hear all the clanking. As much as I want this, it probably makes a better gift for my dad than it does for me. So unfortunately he's probably gonna be getting this one. But if you want to pick up any of the things on ridge.com, any of the many different designs, maybe this leather wallet, maybe a cool key case, you can get them over on ridge.com slash APS. You can get up to 40% off. So make sure you visit it. Thanks again to Ridge for sponsoring this video. I will start by normal summoning my Zuijin of the Ice Barrier. Zuijin? Zuijin. Oh, Zuijin. I can tribute this card to special summon one level five or higher ice, bar my ice barrier monster from my hand to special summon my General Raiho of the Ice Barrier in no, defense he's, mode. He's a good one. So now, from now on, while he's on the board, if you want to activate a monster effect, you have to discard a card from your hand, or that effect is negated. No, oh, wow. Tipu. And now I'm going to end my turn. I will draw for turn. First, I will activate Cyber Emergency. I will add one light machine monster that cannot be normal summoned or set, or one Cyber Dragon from my deck to my hand. So do I want something? What can't be normal summoned or sent? Activate the effect of Cyber Dark Cannon in hand. I will discard it to add a one machine Cyber Dark monster from my deck to my hand. Special summon Cyber Dragon. Next, I will activate Cyber Dark Helm. So when this card is activated, add one Cyber Dark monster from my deck to my hand with a different name than cards in my graveyard. And then immediately after, normal summon one Cyber Dark monster. Why did you get so many moves in your first turn? What do you mean? Cyber Dark Keel, Keel, and then I will normal summon Cyber Dark Horn. I'm going to activate its effect to target Cyber Dark Cannon to equip it to itself. First, I have to discard. Yes. So remember, yes, for the fans, General Raiho's effect is activating, well, is a passive effect that's causing him to have to discard a card in order to not be negated. Cyber Dark Chimera, in order to equip Cyber Dark Horn with Cyber Dark Cannon. So, if I'm reading this correctly, which I think I am, because I passed second grade, um, it gains the attack of the equipped monster, and if it's destroyed by battle, yeah, destroy the equipped monster instead. And if he attacks the defense monster, a defense position monster, he inflicts piercing. 
So Cyberdark Horn is now at, is at 24. Just enough to beat over Raiho, because that's a problem. What the heck? What the heck indeed. So with that, um, all right, I'm gonna move towards battle. Cyberdark Horn will attack your General Raiho. Oh dang, my General goes down. And you'll take 100 points of damage. Next, Cyber Dragon will attack you directly for 21. And I'm yeah, feeling like Zane over here. Hopefully I don't keel over and die from a heart attack. Yeah, Zane died. And Zane then, did not die. Oh, I thought he died, he died in the original. Didn't he die? The manga? I have no clue. Oh, I don't know. It'll be all right. Next, I will normal summon Cyber Dragon Core. Now we'll activate its effect wait, to add wait, one wait. Cyber Dark Inferno, the field spell. I'm going to lose and it won't even be a fight. What do you mean? So I will activate Cyber Dark Inferno. Now it says, uh, all my Cyber Dark monsters equipped with an equipped card cannot be destroyed by card effects and you can't target them with card effects. I have another thing where I can target one Cyber Dark monster I control, return it to the hand, then immediately after normal summon. A little much. And I'll set one card face down and I'll end my turn. Jesus Christ, okay. My turn. Yes. My draw. The heck are you? It's a card. Since you control four or more cards than me, I will activate the effect of my medium the activator in hand mm -hmm. and spell summoner to the field. Ooh. You now can only activate one spell or trap card per turn. You suck. I activate the effect of my Zuijin of the Ice Barrier. Mm -hmm. I can s reduce the level of one of my monsters on the board by two. So my um, medium will go down to level five now. Mm -hmm. And I can spell summon my Zuijin from the graveyard. Yeah. But it will banish once it leaves the field. Ooh. And I'm going to normal summon Defender of the Ice Barrier in attack mode. Hmm. While I control the Ice Barrier monster, monsters my opponent controls cannot attack if they have attack greater than my Defender's defense. Which means you can't attack with either your Cyber Dragon or your Cyber Dark Horn currently. Uh, okay. Are you going to Synchro Shokun? Um, no. Because the numbers don't work. Instead, I'm also going to You have use a the three and a five? You can make a- Eight. What's a, you have an eight synchro? Nope. And now I'm going to activate my prior of the Ice Barrier in hand. Mm -hmm. I control an Ice Barrier monster so I can special summon him. Let's put him in fence mode. You did swarm the field there, huh? And now I can use prior's other effect. I contribute him to special summon an Ice Barrier monster from my graveyard. However, I cannot special summon level five or higher monsters anymore. That's stupid. Bring back my General Raiho of the Ice Barrier. Remember, now that he's on the board, if you want to use an on-field effect, you have to discard a card from your hand. That's, that card's stupid. I was like, oh, that's amazing. He can get whatever tune he wants. Can't special summon level five or higher. Golly. Enter battle phase. Yeah. We'll have my medium of the ice barrier attack your cyber dragon. How big is she? She is 22, you are 21. I'll take 100. Ah, uh, I'll have my general Raiho with 21 attack your cyber dragon core. Okay, I'll take. Oh, 21 minus 400, 17. 17. I'll take 17. Um, one second, do I have any, does this do anything? Nope, okay. And I will end my turn there. All right, I'll draw for turn. I can't synchro summon, but at least I can put rather large monsters out that do some control effects. And I can't attack because of which one Yep, you're, you're the biggest monster on board, but it's too big. I will start by normal summoning Cyber Phoenix. Uh huh. And because of his attack, he's not restricted by your defender. That's true. So I will move towards battle, and Cyber Phoenix will attack your Defender of the Ice Barrier. That does happen. So you'll take a thousand. Yep. And because he's such a thorn on my side, Cyber Dark Horn Dragon will attack your General of the Ice Barrier. Darn it. But hold on, during damage calculation, if the equip, if the equip monster battles, well, I forgot I didn't do this last turn, I didn't know I could. I can send one monster from my deck to the graveyard. So I'm going to do that, and then everything else will go through as intended. Oh, there he is. I'll send Cyberdark Claw to the grave. You can also, you know, only and, and now Raiho will be destroyed, and you will take. Um, you said 24? Yes. So I think 300 damage. And then. I thought I had a chance, man. I will activate Call of the Haunted to special summon Cyber Dragon and attack. Or and down. because Cyber Dragon is not big enough to beat your medium, the attack Zuijin. Zuijin will be easily be defeated, and it's banished. Now, main phase two. I will activate the effect of my Cyberdark Realm. It allows me an extra normal summon of a Cyberdark monster. 
so I will normal summon Cyberdark Keel. I'll activate his effect to target one level three or lower dragon monster and equip it to him. He will gain the original attack. I will equip Cyberdark Claw. Okay. So now they're both at 24. Yes. But that's all I got. Go ahead. All right. Here goes something. Okay. Uh, this could mean something. Let's see what I can do here. So first of all, if I control another Ice Fire monster, you can't tribute summon anymore. But you don't tribute summon anyway in that deck as far as I can tell. So that's not a big deal. Also, I can discard one card from my hands to special summon one Ice Barrier Tuner monster from my deck. Oh, that's really good. But I can't put some any monsters for the rest of this turn that aren't water. It's an Ice Barrier deck, so. My God, man. So you had to wear our deck. I suppose I couldn't find a way to use it yet. Okay, okay. You, you add one level one. Yeah, if you control a level one, you add one. And take two damage if you did not normal summon the added monster. That's you. My Hexa, Spirit of the Ice Barrier. Now, Hexa's interesting. First of all, while I control other Ice Barrier monsters, you, your guys lose 500 attack and defense. I'm not going to worry about that for now. What I'm actually going to do is use its effect that allows me to send a level three or lower ice barrier monster from my deck to grave, which I'll start mm -hmm. doing now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he's going to copy its level. We'll send my cryo monster of the ice barrier, and he copies that monster's level, so he becomes level two as well. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to attempt a synchro summon using my three monsters. So that's going to be level two plus four makes six, six plus five make 11. And I synchro summon my Trishula, Zero Dragon of the Ice Barrier. Ooh, the new one. Hmm. This card is soon banished up to three cards your pull controls. What the heck? My Trishula, Zero Dragon of the Ice Barrier. When it's synchro summoned, I can banish up to three cards my opponent controls. Mm -hmm. So the cards I'll banish will be your Cyber Dark Realm, mm -hmm. your Cyber Dark Inferno, mm -hmm. and your. When Call of the Haunted is removed, is it? Then, the yeah, yeah, Cyber Dragon will be destroyed when it's called the haunted stone. Boo, boo, boo. Next, I'll enter my battle phase. My Trishula, Zero Dragon of the Ice Barrier, is going to attack. Which one do you love the most, and how do these protect them? Um, They protect them. They, they'll be, they will be destroyed instead of the monster. So, yeah. I'll still take the damage, which will be... They're both 24. So yes, yeah, so I'll take 300. I'll have my Trishula, Zero Dragon of the Ice Barrier, attack your... Oh, and I oh, should they, say... Do they have effects when they go to grave? Yeah. One lets me add a cyber, draw, cyber dart from grave to hand. The other one lets me draw a card. My Trishula will attack your Cyber Phoenix. Okay. So I will take... 27 to 12. 15. 15. I'll take 15. And Cyber Phoenix's effect will also activate. That will allow me to draw a card. That also had that. I should have read it. I'll end my turn there. I'll draw for turn. You're not the only one who can go into their extra deck. I will normal summon Attachment Cybern. I will use its effect to target one dragon or machine cyber monster I control and equip it to it. And it gains 600 attack. This card is sent to the graveyard. I will equip to a monster. I can target one other dragon or machine in my graveyard. I special summon it. Then it works. So I'm going to equip Cyber Dark Horn with Attachment Cybern. Oh crap. Let's move towards battle. Gotta spin some to lose some. I'm going to uh, Cyber Dark Keel. I'm going to attack your Trishula. Okay. So I will take five. I am like 23. You're, 20, you're, you're um, taking 300. Yes, I'll take three. And then Cyber Dark Claw will fall off because it was destroyed by battle. And then I'll activate the effect of Cyber Dark Claw. I will target one Cyber Dark monster in my graveyard and add it to hand. I will return to hand Cyber Dark Chimera. <sighs> That's, I need to kill you in one fell swoop. I don't think I can do it this you turn. You definitely cannot. Not this turn. I will pass. Okay then. I thought for sure you were gonna attack me there. All right, my turn, draw. <laughs> oh God. Let's see. I'm going to activate the spell card, Salvage. Mm -hmm. Salvage lets me get two water monsters from my grave with 1500 attack or less back to hand. Mm -hmm. I'll get Hex the Spirit of the Ice Barrier and I'll grab my Cryomancer of the Ice Barrier. Enter battle phase. Battle phase is good. My Trishula, Zero Dragon of the Ice Barrier, will attack your Cyber Dark Keel. I will take... 27 to 400. So, um... 400? 400? Wait, what's that? 8. 800, sorry. Um, 1900. Yes, I'll take 19. And now I will enter main phase 2. <laughs> and normal summon my Cryomancer of the Ice Barrier. Mm. My Cryomancer says that normal, level 4 or higher monsters can't actually attack. So I'll end my turn. 
I draw for turn? Normal summon Ling Ling. The heck? It's a Ling Ling. It's not a machine. A Ring Ring. And I will activate Ling Ling's Ling Ling Ling's effect to equip it to Cyber Dark Horn. Oh my god. Oh. So, his original attack is now 1,000. So it's 1,000 plus the 16, which makes it 26, plus the other six, so he's at 32 now. And if destroyed, destroy that instead. Oh, wow, okay. So he can make a second attack during each battle phase, like that matters. <laughs> Let's draw for turn. Oh, you control a monster and I control an Ice Barrier monster? I guess I'll summon General Wayne from my hand. Wow. Um, now, from now on, spells and traps sent from the field to the graveyard are banished instead. Your graveyard, not mine. Mm. That's pretty good. Um, also, when he's special summoned, I can search for an Ice Barrier Spell or Trap card. Let me get uh, the jewel thing. I think I will just get my Freezing Chains of the Ice Barrier. Mm. Next, I'm going to Normal Summon. Hexa, Spirit of the Ice Barrier. Yes. While he's on the board with other Ice Barrier monsters, your monsters lose 500 attack and defense, so you're down to 2700 attack. Mm -hmm. Next, I'm going to activate my Freezing Chains of the Ice Barrier. When this card is activated, I can target one level four or lower Ice Barrier monster in my GY and special summon it. Let's try. And while I control three or more Ice Barrier monsters, things you make from the extra deck don't have, can't I not activate their effects. Enter battle phase. Okay. My Cryomancer, the Ice Barrier, is going to swing into your Cyber Dark Horn. Cryomancer? I have 1300 attack, you have 27, which means I take 1400 damage. Mm hmm. Um, Cyber Dark Cannon's effect. I'm gonna activate this during damage calculation. I'm gonna send one monster from my deck to my grave. Okay. Cyber Dark Edge. Does it have any effects when sent to the graveyard? No. Okay. All right, so you take how much? I take 1400 damage. Okay. That hurts. My Cryomancer is sent to the graveyard, but now my level four or higher monsters are free to attack now. Mm -hmm. My Trishula, um, Zero Dragon of the Ice Barrier, will now attack into your Cyber Dark Horn. They both have 2700 damage, which means both will be destroyed. Um, I am going to... For the audience's sake, I'll because of it. his effect of protecting his monsters, his spells that would be sent to grave to protect him are banished instead, and if yeah. they do have graveyard effects, they will not be activated. Yeah, I'll destroy it anyway. So my Zero Dragon is destroyed as well. Mm -hmm. And when this monster is destroyed by an opponent's card, which it was, I can special summon my Trishula, Dragon of the Ice Barrier, oh, from the extra deck. It also turns my Trishula's attack to... Um, 3300 3, attack. And now I can have the attack and defense of all face-up monsters that, are current, that my opponent currently controls and negate their effects. Mm -hmm. Next, we're going to have my Trishula, Dragon of the Ice Barrier, attack into your Cyber Dark Horn. So the upkeep thing I can't do, huh? You will take 2,050 damage. Mm -hmm. And now, we'll end the game, have Danger General Wayne attack you directly with 21. Yes. Good I should, game. I, sh I should have killed you a long time ago, but I did. Yeah, I thought you were going to do the Cyber Dark Chimera thing. Did you have to <sighs> not have a spell or something? Shit. Oh, you Wait, had you didn't it. use it the whole time? I couldn't attack, and it didn't matter. Okay, so I did stop it. That's and nice. I, and, I, and I, I was waiting, because had you lived that, then I had the full thing. I needed to get rid of the Zero Dragon without it being destroyed and going to grave, which I had it, but I didn't have Edge in the graveyard to use as fusion material. Otherwise, I could have just took it. 